Over the last month, Braun Breaker has made a name for himself all over again right here on Friday Night SmackDown, picking up victories over Edge back at WrestleMania, a victory over the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes, steamrolling over opponents left and right. And what about a victory over the Apex Predator, Randy Orton, just a couple of weeks ago? Well, now the badass turns his sights to the Ring General, the man who has held the World Heavyweight Championship since November the 19th of last year, Gunther. Breaker threw down the gauntlet just a few weeks ago. And now coming up a week from tomorrow in San Juan, Puerto Rico, Ron Breaker set to lock horns with Gunther, one-on-one -on -one for the World Heavyweight Championship. It is SmackDown's main event when we get to San Juan, Puerto Rico. One week from tomorrow for the live premiere event, that is Backlash. Ron Breaker's been on a roll, but can he keep that momentum going? We are live in the Cure Insurance Arena in Portland, Maine. The badass signed, sealed, and set to be delivered in action to kick things off. Backlash, not the only event that we are anticipating coming up in just 72 hours on Monday Night Raw. It is the 2024 Draft Lottery. Superstars from Raw and SmackDown will be in the TD Garden in Boston, Massachusetts. What is going to happen? Who is going where? We find out live this Monday night, 5 p.m. Eastern Time for the 2024 Draft Lottery. But as for this man, Braun Breaker, you saw in the highlight package moments ago, the destruction that this man has laid in the middle of that ring over the last month. Can he get through? The Nigerian giant, Omas, who steps up to the plate to try to step over the number one contender. All remains to be seen if Breaker can keep his momentum alive. And of course, we are getting a look at the challenger right now. We'll be getting a look at the champion in the main event, the World Heavyweight Champion, Gunther, set to go one-on-one -on -one with a mystery opponent, a returning superstar to Friday Night SmackDown. Who's that's gonna be? We find out later tonight here in Portland, Maine. But the mood changes when the colossal Nigerian giant Omas enters the room. And his opponent from Lagos, Nigeria, weighing in at 400 pounds, the Nigerian Giant Omas. You know, from what we understand over the last week, this is a challenge that was thrown out by Omas himself. First time he's been in action since prior to WrestleMania last month. Omas has seen the destruction that Braun Breaker has caused in the middle of that ring, and Omas looking to one-up the number one contender here on Friday Night SmackDown. Braun Breaker, you gotta give credit where credit's due, not backing down from the challenge by the colossal Omas, but has he bitten off more than he can chew? Gunther gonna be in action later tonight. You never know what's gonna happen in the main event, but Braun Breaker's been keeping up a busy schedule as of late here on SmackDown. Just over a week away before he challenges for the World Heavyweight title is the badass in over his head. All remains to be seen. We are live in the Cure Insurance Arena, Portland, Maine for Friday Night SmackDown. Just a week away from the Backlash event in San Juan, Puerto Rico. And look at the Nigerian giant, Omas, standing across the ring from Braun Breaker. No intimidation shown, and Omas going to be the aggressor off the opening bell. Omas threw down the gauntlet. Breaker took the bait. But will it come back to haunt the man that challenges for the World Heavyweight title a week from tomorrow? All remains to be seen, but you got to give credit to Braun Breaker. This is somebody who has been on the main roster here on Friday Night SmackDown over the last year. It was well documented that Breaker was having trouble succeeding in big time situations. He has challenged for the World Heavyweight Championship in the past, and it did not go the way of the badass all the way back then. So far, things waging war between Breaker and Omos, things going the way of the number one contender. I'll tell you what, another thing well documented, 
We say it every time while Moss is in the ring, and that's because it's the truth. One thing to knock him down, a whole nother thing to keep him there. I got a feeling that's what Breaker's gonna find out firsthand as we kick off Friday Night SmackDown. As we mentioned, the big time scenarios for Braun Breaker over the last year, the shortcomings of the young former two-time NXT champion. The Breaker has obviously stepped up to the plate and has learned from his mistakes over the last month. Victories over Edge, Cody Rhodes, and Randy Orton, undeniable. But can he get through Omos here tonight? And what about what else is coming up here on Friday Night SmackDown? The Scottish warrior Drew McIntyre in action for the first time since WrestleMania. Just a week away before he goes against Roman Reigns at Backlash, he's gonna have his hands full. The modern day Maharaja, Jinder Mahal. That is coming up later tonight. And as we mentioned in your main event, the World Heavyweight Champion, Gunther, challenging this mystery superstar who is on their way back to the WWE, a part of the Friday Night SmackDown brand. We're gonna find out in the main event when they challenge Gunther one-on-one. -on -one. Meanwhile, crash and burn for Braun Breaker in the middle of the ring. Omos not able to put the number one contender for Gunther's title away yet, but obvious damage done. Omos better not enjoy the fruits of his labor for too long. Braun Breaker has been more hungry than ever as of late. And I don't think Braun is looking to lie down for anybody just over a week away before he can test the ring general in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Omos, a man that is easier said than done to keep down. Breaker's finding that out firsthand, but that doesn't mean he's gonna stop swinging. To the corner he goes, trying to knock down Omos. That time he does. Will he be able to keep the big man there? Breaker scaling the ropes. Gonna have to get a little unorthodox here against somebody much stronger and much taller. The bigger opponent comes crashing down. Will that be enough? Breaker into the cover, not just yet. Only a one count that time. That is how difficult it is to keep down Omos, but maybe that emphatic spear will do the trick. Not enough. Omos still into this matchup. Breaker used that spear against all of his opponents as of late. Edge, Cody Rhodes, Randy Orton. And it has done a toll on all those superstars, but Omos able to get the shoulder up tonight. This matchup progresses here in Portland, Maine. Omos, wait a minute, look at the agility of the colossal one, not just yet. Going for the big boot, doesn't get all of it. Omos seemingly having a sense of urgency after that spear. The agile, I should say the agility of the Nigerian giant able to just Wrestled Braun Breaker down moments ago, and now certainly outmatch him in the middle of the ring. Gotta wonder what's at stake for Omos if he can score a victory over the number one contender tonight. Omos could be looking to get his name in world title contention. Imagine Omos going one on one with the ring general Gunther. That would be an earth shattering matchup in the middle of the ring, that's for damn sure. Ron Breaker not looking to find out what would happen if Omos is the one getting his hand raised tonight. Breaker wants to keep his momentum sky high. Backlash a week from tomorrow. Breaker needs all the help he can get before he steps into the ring with the World Heavyweight Champion. Breaker all kinds of fired up. Yet another shoulder block, knocking Omos down momentarily. Oh, wait a minute. Look at the strength of the number one contender. Press slam. Down goes Omos. You gotta be kidding. Braun Breaker is on top of the world as your number one contender. You know, Gunther has been called the inevitable, but maybe Braun Breaker is going to be the kryptonite to what has been a destructive, dominating reign for Gunther as World Heavyweight Champion. Here is your winner, Braun Breaker. All remains to be seen what is gonna happen a week from tomorrow in the Coliseum in Puerto Rico. But as for tonight in the Cure Insurance Arena, Braun Breaker is standing tall, another monstrous victory, this time over that giant, the Colossal Omas. Gunther better not underestimate his number one contender because if he does, we may be looking at a new World Heavyweight Champion.
coming your way on Saturday night, April the 13th. Witness the aftermath of WrestleMania as the superstars of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown head to San Juan, Puerto Rico for the 2024 Backlash. This international live premiere event streams live at 5 p.m. Eastern time on Saturday night, April the 13th. And as a new season approaches, what will these superstars have in store? You haven't seen anything yet, and nothing can prepare you for the backlash. We're back live on Friday Night SmackDown in the LWO's Joaquin Wilde and Cruz Del Toro inside the squared circle as they prepare for tag team action. Of course, they are accompanied by the first lady of the LWO, Zelina Vega, who just last week punched her ticket to Puerto Rico, where she will challenge Shayna Baszler for the Women's World Championship a week from tomorrow at Backlash. But that is then, this is now Del Toro and Wild with their own situation at hand. They're calling out Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser of Imperium. Some aftermath from the Santos Escobar Guther collision a few weeks ago here in the Blue Brand. Last and you shall receive. One thing you could say about Imperium is they're never usually afraid of a fight. They'll step in the ring and make a statement on anybody's behalf on any given Friday. Kaiser and Vinci step up to the plate to try to take down the LWO. And their opponents at a combined weight of 440 pounds. Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser We referenced it a moment ago, but let's take a look at two weeks ago here on SmackDown. Santos Escobar in the ring with the World Heavyweight Champion Gunther. Multiple times in that matchup, his game was thrown off by the antics of Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser. Look at Escobar, almost had the champion pinned, but the back of Charles Robinson turned thanks to Vinci taking the turnbuckle pad off the corner. An inevitable defeat for the Emperor of Lucha Libre two weeks ago. Del Toro and Wild looking to settle the score on behalf of the LWO. And you know, outside of Zelina Vega and her own personal success last week, things have been a little rocky in Latino world order as of late. Mysterio and Santos Escobar falling short back at WrestleMania in their pursuit of the WWE Tag Team titles. We saw Santos Escobar getting choked out by Gunther two weeks ago, and then an attempt to bounce back last week Mysterio and Escobar falling short. I'll bite an upset victory for Axiom and Nathan Frazier taking down Latino World Order last week. At the end of the day, you gotta have a short-term memory in this business. You gotta look on to the next fight, and that's what Wild and Cruz looking to do here in the Cure Insurance Arena. LWO, Imperium, and a matchup that could certainly have WWE Tag Team Championship implications. Bell has sounded, we are underway. Del Toro high out of the gate, pop-up tornado. This one might be over in a hurry. LWO seeking victory tonight. Giovanni Vinci, however, able to power the shoulder off the canvas. LWO not looking for another defeat after Escobar and Ray fell short to Frazier and Axiom seven nights ago here in the Blue Brand. Tag made to Joaquin Wild. So far, so good for Latino World Order. Giovanni Vinci, Ludwig Kaiser, looking to set the pace for Imperium tonight, as we will see Gunther one-on-one -on -one with a mystery opponent in your main event. All remains to be seen what is going to happen. So much action anticipating over the next couple of weeks and the next given days. Monday Night Raw, the WWE Draft Lottery, this coming Monday. TD Garden in Boston is going to be rocking. And then of course, backlash a week from tomorrow in the Coliseum in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Right now, Joaquin Wilde and Cruz Del Toro talked about setting the pace. They have set the pace for this matchup. One that Kaiser and Vinci are not looking to meet them at. Imperium looking to wrestle their style of contest as Ludwig Kaiser getting tagged in and looking to neutralize Joaquin Wilde. Imperium looking again to set the tone. The World Heavyweight Champion Gunther 
to walk down the aisle later tonight in a matchup that he called for. The last few weeks, we have been seeing. Wait a minute, hold that thought! My goodness! Joaquin Wild, Springboard, Poison Rana, not enough to get a three count, but you gotta believe massive damage has been done on the man in the black trunks. Man, that was a hell of a maneuver by Joaquin Wild, luckily for Ludwig Kaiser. His eggs aren't scrambled enough trying to neutralize Joaquin Wild once more and slow down the offense in this matchup. I'll tell you, we got a competitive tag team matchup already on hand on what has been a heated up tag team division as of late on SmackDown. Both of these teams were participating in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic on the road to WrestleMania. Obviously, did not go the way of either duo. But I'm sure as Austin Theory and Grayson Waller await their next WWE Tag Team Championship challengers, it could very well be one of these two teams. Giovanni Vinci, Ludwig Kaiser, taking on Joaquin Wilde and Cruz Del Toro. Tag made to Del Toro, who started out this matchup hot and heavy. We're gonna continue so right now. That was shooting star in the middle of the ring. Cover, not just yet. Cruz Del Toro and Joaquin Wilde wanted this matchup at their Imperium's antics two weeks ago, but will they be able to put their money where their mouth is tonight? And we said it already tonight. We saw Braun Breaker in action moments ago. They called Gunther the inevitable Imperium, looking to remind the SmackDown universe that it's them collectively that are the inevitable here on SmackDown. Giovanni Vinci sh strutting his stuff. Great agility shown, whether you like him or not. Well, Vinci and Kaiser may not have been as successful ever since their SmackDown debut as their ring general Gunther has. Any given Friday, a chance to turn your momentum around, and tonight could be the night. One of these teams takes the next step forward on the road to becoming number one contenders for the WWE Tag Team title. Nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, I remind you still to come tonight, Guther in action against a mystery opponent, plus the Scottish warrior Drew McIntyre, ahead of his match with Roman Reigns at Backlash, set to contest Jinder Mahal in the middle of the Friday night SmackDown ring. This coming Monday night on Raw, the WWE Draft Lottery, where you can see the WWE Champion Kevin Owens one-on-one -on -one with the almighty Bobby Lashley. Intercontinental Championship gonna be on the line as well as Sami Zayn defends against Carmelo Hayes. And look at Ludwig Kaiser now. Submission hold locked in. A Little bit of a figure four on Cruz Del Toro. Joaquin Wild closing the distance on that. Making sure Imperium is not going to be leaving with a victory just yet. I'll tell you, this has been a great tag team matchup so far, and you got to wonder the pressure that is on the shoulders of LWO. Oh, man! Kaiser with an unorthodox and certainly a rare Tope Suicida. Normally do not see Kaiser take things to the air. Guess any means necessary to get the victory here tonight. El Toro and Wild known for their high-risk offense. Springboard drop kick. Here's Del Toro now trying to get back in this matchup for the LWO. Unfortunately for him, Joaquin Wild just trying to shake his cobwebs off in the corner. Well, look at this. Look at the agility of Del Toro. And another drop kick this time. This is what the LWO's got to do. Step up. Corkscrew. Nobody does that maneuver like Cruz Del Toro. LWO and Imperium leave it every stone unturned. Back inside the ring we go. This could be all she wrote for Imperium's night. And the cover, not just yet again. Ludwig Kaiser able to get the shoulder off the canvas. The momentum is on the line, certainly in this matchup as Del Toro stacks up Kaiser again. Ludwig Kaiser may be surviving, but he's certainly not thriving in this tag team match. Del Toro completely turning it on its head. Tag made to Joaquin Wilde. What does LWO got to do to get the W here in Portland, Maine? Joaquin scale on the ropes, but gets caught dead in his tracks. Ludwig Kaiser, not afraid to get his hands dirty. 
Oh, now there is the first lady, Zelina Vega at ringside. Look at that giving Imperium a taste of their own medicine. How many times did they get involved in the Gunther Santos Escobar match two weeks ago? Zelina Vega said, anything you can do, I can do better. That is the number one contender for the Women's World Championship at ringside. Zelina looking to bring some good mojo to the LWO locker room. Oh, wait a minute, Tag made the Vinci Cradle shock to Joaquin Wilde. Nowhere near the ropes, nowhere to go. Imperium scores the victory. Here are your winners, Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser. Imperium! Well, WO called their shot. Unfortunately, Imperium stepping up to the plate and hitting a home run tonight. We could be looking at future number one contenders. It is coming your way one week from tomorrow in the Coliseum San Juan, Puerto Rico. Live at 5 p.m. Eastern time, the 2024 Backlash and already signed for Backlash from Monday Night Raw, the World Tag Team Championship set to be defended as Jay and Jimmy put the gold on the line for the first time since winning it at WrestleMania. They take on Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford of the Street Profits. Also coming your way from Monday Night Raw, the number one contender, the buff Barbie, Tiffany Stratton, looks to break through the glass ceiling on Monday nights, looks to take down Liv Morgan and become the brand new WWE Women's Champion. As for Friday Night SmackDown, the Women's World Championship will be on the line. Zelina Vega outlasted the gauntlet last week. Some are calling it an upset. Can lightning strike twice a week from tomorrow? Can she take down Shayna Baszler? And what about the World Heavyweight Championship match? As we saw at the top of the hour, Braun Breaker is hotter than ever, but can he ride that momentum into San Juan, Puerto Rico and take down the ring general, Gunther? Monday Night Raw's main event, featuring a fatal four-way for the WWE Championship. Kevin Owens puts the gold on the line against the almighty Bobby Lashley, Seth freaking Rollins, and the megastar LA Knight, who will outlast the four-way with the gold. Two combustible elements bound to explode as the Scottish warrior Drew McIntyre takes on the head of the table, Roman Reigns, in Roman's first matchup in over two years here in the WWE. And we want to take you back to last week here on SmackDown Chaos. Kicking things off at the top of the show as the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes and the Apex Predator Randy Orton came brawling through the crowd here to the ringside area. Orton getting the last laugh at least momentarily with an RKO through the announce table that sent Cody Rhodes to a local hospital in an ambulance. Well, that's just the second time Orton has sent Cody away in an ambulance, but it could be a third coming up a week from tomorrow. Cody Rhodes defeated Randy Orton at WrestleMania, but this story is far from over. It ends when the Viper says it ends, and it ends when somebody gets taken away in an ambulance. All of that action is coming your way one week from tomorrow, live at 5 p.m. Eastern time at Backlash. But well, the action continues here tonight on SmackDown. The Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre, returns to action. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Ayr, Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds. The Scottish Warrior, Drew Well, this is McIntyre's first time stepping foot between the ropes, between the bells, since WrestleMania Saturday. And a big reason because of that is McIntyre's enthralled issue with Roman Reigns. McIntyre feels that Roman Reigns stepped over his cold, dead body at WrestleMania, disrespected Drew McIntyre after McIntyre fought his heart out and came up short against Gunther in the main event. A fair assessment to have, but things have been taken to a whole new level. McIntyre laying out Roman Reigns a few weeks ago with not one, but two Claymore kicks. And then you take things back just a three weeks ago, or excuse me, two weeks ago here on SmackDown. Roman Reigns and McIntyre brawling in the backstage area. Roman sending Drew right into two pane glass windows. 
Things are obviously getting taken to an unnecessary level, but bound to happen between two combustible elements like the tribal chief Roman Reigns, who is hot off the heels of a return at WrestleMania, and of course a very confused and furious Scottish warrior Drew McIntyre. And his opponent, representing in the Sheer from Punjab, India, weighing in at 238 pounds. The modern day Maharaja, Jinder Mahal! Well, McIntyre's got to keep his head on straight and focus at the task at hand as he takes on the modern day Maharaja, Jinder Mahal. But I want to go back to what we just stated moments ago. McIntyre very frustrated and confused over the last few weeks. And maybe some would say that that's a overstatement, but McIntyre clearly acting out of his element as of late. McIntyre's never been somebody, at least over the last few years, to attack somebody from behind or get into some backstage brawl. Drew has always handled his issues in the middle of the ring, but something about Roman Reigns returning at WrestleMania has just been a thorn in Drew McIntyre's side and has brought out a different side in the Scottish Warrior that maybe we haven't seen in quite some time. Really all boils down to McIntyre's desire to get back the World Heavyweight Championship that he held for over 200 days last year and unfortunately failed to win back at WrestleMania Saturday. Obviously Roman Reigns coming back for the same idea to try to win the World Heavyweight Championship, take on Gunther. Really, you could say McIntyre and Roman getting in each other's way on becoming number one contender. So enthralled with each other, Braun Breaker had an open window to walk right up to Guther and said, I'm next in line. That's really what brings us to backlash a week from tomorrow. McIntyre and Roman look to settle the score once and for all between the bells. And Braun Breaker looks to be the one to challenge Guther next for the World Heavyweight Championship and possibly be the one to get the job done. And meanwhile, here tonight in the Cure Insurance Arena, Portland, Maine, may be witnessing an early demise of Drew McIntyre. Jinder Mahal looking to take the fight to a possibly unfocused Drew here on SmackDown. If McIntyre's mind is already in San Juan, Puerto Rico. If McIntyre is already focusing on a week from tomorrow when he meets Roman Reigns between the bells, Jinder Mahal may have a layup to victory here tonight. All remains to be seen is Jinder Mahal just putting the boot right in the heart of Drew McIntyre, and McIntyre obviously built very tough. And sure as hell is a lot harder to keep him down in between those ropes. McIntyre, if he wasn't focused coming into this thing, a couple of stiff shots from Jinder Mahal will certainly get his head on straight. These two men jockeying for position, no strangers to each other, former friends and have fought many a times in the middle of the squared circle. Back and forth, the pendulum momentum swings here. Jinder Mahal looking to get the upper hand, couple of overhead shots. McIntyre trying to hang in there. Look at Jinder, he just may want it more tonight on SmackDown. If McIntyre is coming in unfocused, Jinder Mahal may be nearing victory. Camel clutch locked in on the Scottish Warrior. McIntyre may be in trouble. First legal action he is seeing since WrestleMania, not including all the brawls and everything that has happened with Roman Reigns, but the first time between the bell may be a devastating time between the bell. Look at Drew muscling up Jinder Mahal. Drew McIntyre not looking to see defeat on the road to a huge match with Roman Reigns in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Roman Reigns first time competing inside the squared circle in over two years. A man who felt like he accomplished everything there was to do, took his ball and walked away from the WWE for quite some time, but new accomplishments to be had, new superstars to challenge himself in the middle of that ring. Roman Reigns came back for the gold, came back for the competition in Guther. But first he runs into somebody who he has had his demons with in the past, and that being Drew McIntyre. Now McIntyre looking to send a message to the head of the table before they get to the Coliseum next Saturday night. McIntyre, full steam ahead, sending Jinder Mahal over the top. 
I'll tell you, Jinder Mahal may rue the day he stepped foot in the ring with Drew McIntyre, because even if McIntyre came in unfocused, I think the action so far in this matchup may have woken the Scottish Warrior up. Back inside the ring we go, not by will, but by force, and now McIntyre in the corner. And we know what comes next from this pissed off Scottish Warrior, Claymore kick. Into the cover, Drew McIntyre, full head of steam on the road to Backlash next Saturday night. The Scottish Warrior sending an emphatic, wait a minute, Roman Reigns in the ring. Drew McIntyre wants to fight. Roman Reigns wants to fight. Roman taking the fight to Drew McIntyre days before we get the backlash. These two men do not want to wait until they hear a bell. Spear! Message sent loud and crystal clear. Whose ego will stand atop the other in San Juan, Puerto Rico, one week from tomorrow at Backlash. Last Friday night on SmackDown, we witnessed a six-woman gauntlet matchup with the number one contendership for the Women's World Championship hanging in the balance. Selena Vega, an upset victory over the EST Bianca Belair, but could she keep the momentum going against the returning shiniest wizard, Tegan Knox? Certainly led to a final two that these two women fought tooth and nail. Knox for the first time in the ring in over one year in WWE. Unfortunately for her, Selena Vega scoring yet another victory and looks to write the next chapter in her issues with the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. I want to take you back to February 5th, just a few months ago here on SmackDown. The LWO's first lady brung the fight to the Women's World Champion in a non-title matchup. Just a few weeks later, took on Zoe Stark as well on Saturday night's main event. Selena Vega knows what it's like firsthand to be in the ring with Shayna Baszler. And she's going to get yet another preview next week on SmackDown, just 24 hours before Backlash, as she stands alongside Raquel Rodriguez to take on Zoe Stark, as well as the women's world champion, Shayna Baszler. But also coming your way next week, the one and only Ricochet has been hot on the heels of the phenomenal AJ Styles. These two men met back at WrestleMania in an incredible contest for the United States Championship. Ricochet threw everything he had at Styles. Unfortunately, it was just the better night for Styles to retain the United States Championship. Ricochet has kept his focus, laser focused on the phenomenal one, taking down the machine gun Carl Anderson last week making his presence felt and making a statement that he was coming for the red, white, blue, and gold. And next week here on SmackDown, Ricochet's got one more opportunity to accomplish that dream. Next week, the phenomenal AJ Styles defends the United States Championship against the human highlight real Ricochet in what should be an extraordinary WrestleMania rematch. That is all coming your way next week here on the Blue Brand, just 24 hours before our trip to San Juan, Puerto Rico at Backlash. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, the world heavyweight champion, the World Heavyweight Champion Guther approaches the squared circle as he is set for action just a few days before the 2024 Draft Lottery. It will be live this Monday night at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. SmackDown and Raw Superstars will be under one roof in the TD Garden in Boston. The 2024 Draft Lottery, the landscape changes this Monday night on Raw. But Guther calling out this mystery opponent this returning superstar joining the Friday Night SmackDown roster. Who's it gonna be? Who will step into the ring with the World Heavyweight Champion and non-title action? That is the question that we remain to see the answer for, and it's coming up right here, right now, in your main event. El 
What is this gonna be? And his opponent from Gold Oh, wait a minute. Toronto, Mexico, weighing in at 230. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, a former NXT champion, a former United States champion. Andrade is here on Friday Night SmackDown. Well, what a surprise to me. Over the last few weeks, we heard the rumors that a former WWE superstar was coming back to the blue brand. Well, Gunther threw down the gauntlet, said anybody stepping through the doors of my show has got to go through me. And it looks like Andrade not going to shy away from that challenge. Well, I'll tell you, business picking up in your Friday Night SmackDown main event. And you gotta wonder what's going through the mind of the World Heavyweight Champion Gunther as a former champion himself here in the WWE approaches the squared circle. Just over a week before Gunther defends the World Heavyweight title at Backlash, obviously Gunther dominant as ever, but do you think he might have got ahead of himself? Maybe bit off more than he can chew. No time to scout, no time to game plan. Gotta think on your feet if you're the World Heavyweight Champion. Well, this is certainly a huge prize for Friday Night SmackDown. Andrade back here on Friday nights, joining the blue brand and going right into the spotlight in your main event tonight. Well, this is going to be a great contest, ladies and gentlemen. Andrade Gunther one-on-one -on -one here on Friday Night SmackDown. Andrade's been away from the WWE for a couple of years, has traveled all around the globe all over again, winning championships in Mexico, across the globe, but now is back home in the WWE and looking to do some work on night one back. Talk about stepping right into the crosshairs of one of the best in the business. Right into the fire is Andrade, and he is certainly not shying away from it. Bringing the fight to the World Heavyweight Champion, Gunther, who levels him with a lariat. Ain't gonna be no feeling out process here when you gotta think on your feet and roll with the tides. You just gotta go right at your opponent. As Andrade outruns the World Heavyweight Champion, getting the best of him that time. I'll tell you, Gunther has only suffered one loss since his SmackDown debut back in December of 2022. Tonight, very well may be loss number two. Andrade, in my personal opinion, one of the most complete superstars in the world today. All the tools to be a world champion. And with Gunther having to take this fight on without knowing who his opponent was going to be, this may be a huge opportunity to upset the man here on SmackDown. <clears throat> Gunther better not underestimate Andrade. Almost toying with him at ringside right now, disrespecting the returning superstar. Gunther said, you want to join SmackDown? You got to go through me. This has become my show. I have held the world championship since November of last year. Retaining the title back at WrestleMania, defending it a week from tomorrow. Saul Gunther's dominance firsthand yet again just a few weeks ago against Santos Escobar. And now Gunther again looking to show his dominance with an iron fist here on SmackDown against a returning Andrade. I'll tell you, Portland, Maine getting a treat tonight. The challenger for the world championship. Somehow, some way, out muscling the Nigerian giant Omas at the top of the hour here on SmackDown. Now seeing the other side of the field and the champion Gunther try to take down the returning Andrade. I don't know if you want to trade shots with somebody who hits as hard as Gunther, but Andrade not one to shy down from this fight. Back and forth they go. And Andrade getting the upper hand, at least momentarily. And Gunther saying, I don't want none of this. Trying to create some distance is the World Heavyweight Champion. Oh, look at Gunther. Well, Gunther may be realizing that this isn't a fight I need just over a week before I defend my World Heavyweight Championship at Backlash against that man. Braun Breaker guarding the ramp, saying, where are you going, Gunther? You wanted the fight. Andrade's giving it to you. 
Gunther was trying to get away from this contest. I think he said it wasn't worth it. Title's not on the line. Braun Breaker coming down the ringside, ensuring Gunther wasn't going to go anywhere from this matchup with Andrade. And Andrade right back on the fight. Foot on the gas pedal, soaring through the skies like he does the best of them. Back to the ring we go, and another boot. I'll tell you, this match has seen Andrade been the aggressor for the majority of it. Luther have, having to think on his feet, and no Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser out here tonight. As they already competed earlier. I am sure resting and recuperating from their battle with the LWO. Andrade's got a chance for a massive upset tonight on SmackDown. What a maneuver from the top rope. The World Heavyweight Champion has got no idea what hit him. And now what has Andrade got in mind? Into the ropes and through him. Tope Tornado DDT. Portland, Maine coming unglued as the ring general may have his bell rung. A nice counter that time. May just be a lucky one. Andrade back in the ring awaiting Gunther. Knocking him down to size. Are we going to see an upset here on SmackDown? This is the moment that tells it all. Into the cover, not just yet. Gunther with the kick out. A close call for Andrade. Wait a minute. Last Symphony out of nowhere. I don't care who you are. There's no getting up from that. What an awesome showcase for a returning Andrade. But even though Guther was thrown off his game and even tried to ditch this affair at one point, the ring general finding a way to win. The Last Symphony that has turned away some of the best in the business turns away Andrade tonight. But will the World Heavyweight Championship reign of Guther continue one week from tomorrow when he defends the gold against Braun Breaker in San Juan, Puerto Rico at Backlash?